Let's learn the tricks that professional photographers use to make natural lighting portraits look amazing. Action! Beautiful, nice. Start easy. Don't dive into the portrait shots straight away. Too many photographers do that, so you're going to kill the model with crazy poses and you're going to put a lot of stress for yourself. Start by doing establishing shots that look like this. That doesn't reveal your subjects first. Their hands, part of their lips, their poses. Well, don't even fear if your subjects look blurry in the pictures because you can do symbolic representative composition. What is that? We should do an episode on representative composition someday. Use your 50mm lens. It's my favorite lens for a few reasons. I've been known to do portrait shoots with only one lens and you should try that because the 50mm lens, number one, is the cheapest in any brand. Apart from that, the range of F number can go from F1.8 right up to 22. So you can change your F number to a very wide range. And then it makes you look at composition and forces you to move. And as you progress, you can start investing in more expensive 50mm lens that will have better glass elements like this one. These are really suitable for natural lighting because it just lets in more light. Apart from that, the 50mm will give you a tighter composition if you put it on a crop frame, giving you 75mm. So your shots will be more intimate in the composition. I love handrails like this. They provide something called the foreground lead-ins. Let me show you what you can do. The trick is to put your camera very near the handrail and go down to a very low level like this. In fact, you can vary your foreground lead-ins by changing the position. Try that. One of my favourite poses for my subjects in portrait is to get them to look away and not look at the camera. Get them something to read or stare far away. That way, your subjects will look more candid instead of posing all the time. If you want to get interesting angles when you're shooting your portrait, try the cube. The trick is to imagine that your subject is sitting inside an imaginary box. And all you need to do is shoot down from these four angles here. And then shoot up from these four angles here. And you will be rewarded with fascinating angles like this. Well, don't just blur the background. Add something in between the subject and the lens, and that's called foregrounding. Look at how beautiful they are. You can use leaves, you can use crystals, anything to make it look blurry and soft. More frequently than not, when you're shooting natural lighting, you have the sun working against you, as you can see. It is on the right-hand side of the subject now, and this side of the face is too bright. That's highlight. Whereas this side is too dark. So where do you meter? Taking shots like this can be dangerous because you might be underexposed or overexposed. So the trick is to flip to spot meter, and instead of metering on the cheek like what photographers would tell you, meter on your subject's forehead here. Because this averages out between the highlight and the shadow and bam, this is mid-tone. 
There are good crops and there are bad crops in portraits. There are places that you can actually crop your subject and there are places that you shouldn't because doing so will make them look fatter. So the trick is to see where the body goes in, like the neck here, and the elbow, and the waist, and also slightly above the knee, cropping at these places where the body goes in instead of where the body goes out will make your portraits nicer because the subjects will look slimmer. And hence, here are the good crops and their bad crops. Oh, and one more tip. If you're shooting full body where you see the feet of the subject, don't tilt. Keep it level. Otherwise, it's gonna look odd. Let's learn how to pose your subjects, especially your subjects' legs. As you can see, legs like this will make the subject look very short. So, extend your leg completely. Right? And instead of doing this, cross your leg over right and point your toes that would be the better way to pose your subjects and her legs so that she looks taller whenever your location has background lights like this use them they're gonna be stunning smile a bit more as you can see, if you have your F number low, you're gonna get nice blurry shots like this of the background with lights. They are really stunning. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe. In the next episode, we're gonna be covering the top 10 unethical things to do as a photographer. Like leaving your trash behind after the photo shoot. Whose drink is this? Get rid of this trash, please.